Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, yes, I'd like to report a disturbance. Of course, what seems to be the problem? There's a black family at my community pool. Um, what? Yeah, I don't even think they live here. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. There seems to be a little bit of a confusion. The Karen Helpline doesn't actually help Karens. They help people deal with Karens. You don't understand. My life is in danger. I highly doubt that. Okay, I would like to speak to your manager, please. Of course, hold on one moment, please. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, yes, one of your employees was very rude to me. Well, alrighty, I'd love to help you with that, but first I'm just gonna need a couple of background questions if you don't mind. Number one, how long have you been a racist douchebag? Hello, Karen Helpline. Hello? I need your help. Why are we whispering? My mom is in the other room. Okay. She's a Karen. Get the hell out of there! Shh. Timmy, where are you? I told you to call the police on that suspicious youth. Oh god, she sounds like a bad one. Oh good, is that 911? Give me the phone. No, 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 ma'am, we're not- Hello? Um... Hello? No, no hablo inglés. Excuse me, sir. This is the United States. Please speak English. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I'd like to report a Karen sighting. Of course, I'd love to help you with that. Now, where was the Karen located? Disney World? She's in line at the It's a Small World ride. I thought Disney World was closed. Oh, no. Florida doesn't believe there's a pandemic. Oh, right, of course. Now, what is the Karen currently doing? Uh, she is currently yelling at a kid in a wheelchair for cutting in line. Oof. And what I'm saying is you should be able to wait longer because your legs don't get tired. Please send help. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hello? Hi. Yeah, I need some help. Of course. What seems to be the problem? I'm not totally sure, but I think my wife might be a Karen. Okay, sir. Don't worry. I'll transfer you immediately to one of our experts. Thank you so much. Karen Helpline, Dr. Keith Aaron. Doctor, I think my wife's a Karen. Okay, sir. Calm down. We can help you determine this, okay? I'm just going to need your help answering a few simple questions. Uh, yeah, of course. Question one. When your wife says, my body, my choice, is she referring to a woman's rights or not wearing a mask? I don't think she even owns a mask. I see. And uh, has she ever called the police on somebody for speaking Spanish? She fears what she doesn't understand. Not looking good. Okay, uh, one more question. What do you think your wife would do if I told her she was a Karen? She'd probably ask to speak to your manager. Oh my god. Yeah. Damn it! Do you guys do divorces? Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, it's me again. The guy with a Karen for a wife. Oh, God, you're still married? Yeah, long story, but listen, I have a huge problem. I think my wife's gonna find out I called. Don't worry, sir, we're gonna take care of this. Please hold. Okay. Karen Helpline, Concealment Division. My wife's a Karen, and I just found out that she goes through our phone records. Sir, sir, calm down. This happens all the time, and that's why we have the ability to retroactively change how our phone number shows up in your phone records, so your Karen will not find out. Oh my God, thank you so much. What do you guys change it to? We can do the Trump campaign. No, she has a direct line. She'll know it's fake. What about the All Lives Matter Alliance? Is that a real thing? No, sir, it's not. See, that won't work. She's gonna see it and want us to sign up. And then when she finds out that it's not a real thing... Okay, yes, I do see the problem there. All right, well, we can always just use our default option, which is making it look like a call to 911. Is that legal? You know, I don't know. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen. Of course, what seems to be the problem? Well, I'm trick-or-treating and there's a Karen calling the cops on kids for trespassing. <sighs> of course there is. Okay, if I may ask, is the Karen wearing a culturally insensitive costume? Um, yeah, I heard her tell somebody she's sexy Pocahontas. What does that even mean? I literally have no idea. Oh god, now she's yelling at everybody for wearing masks. What? You all are sheep. Masks are slavery! Yeah, that feels aggressive. What's weird is that most of the masks she's talking about literally just go with the costume. Okay, yeah, we're gonna send help right away. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hello? Well, hello there. How can I help you, young man? Well, my mom's in the middle of getting a haircut, and I'm really worried that it's gonna turn her into a Karen. Would you mind explaining to me what the haircut is? Well, I heard her tell the hairdresser that her inspiration is Kate Gosselin's bob and highlights. Oh boy, okay, that's not good. Okay, but listen, our research has shown that while the Karen haircut can look scary, it's not actually gonna cause a non-Karen to become one. Are you sure? Well, has your mom ever shown any signs of being a Karen? What do you mean? Does she ever yell at store employees for things they can't control? No. Does she hate minorities? Not at all. She loves all people. Does she ever call management or the police for minor inconveniences? Never. Then I really believe you're okay. She's not just gonna become Are some- Are you kidding me? Oh no, her haircut's done. I specifically said extra frosted tips. Where is your manager? Huh, I guess it is the haircut. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen on Karen disturbance. Oh boy, okay, I'll need to put you through to a specialist. Hurry! This is Agent Stevens. Hi, I'm at the Steamtown Mall and there's two Karens in a standoff. All right, don't worry, this is what we're trained for. Now, how'd this all begin? Well, the first Karen got really mad because she couldn't return her Ann Taylor blouse for a full refund, so she asked to see the manager. 
But the Ann Taylor manager is a Karen, and she's threatening to call the police if she doesn't accept the store credit. All right, well, how's the situation currently looking? Well, it looks like the customer Karen just pulled out her phone and started recording the manager Karen. Oh, God. And now the manager Karen is filming back. Are they threatening to put it on Facebook? Parlor, actually. Jesus, DEFCON 10. All right, they're circling each other, and oh my God, one of them just said their husband's a lawyer. Okay, listen to me. This is getting way too dangerous. You have to get out of there. What? No, listen to me. The entitlement is too great. You have to go. Somebody help! She's threatening me! Run! Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need some help with a Karen. Of course, what seems to be the problem? So as you know, it's Cinco de Mayo, and there's like a pretty big Mexican population in my area. And so the Karen is trying to shut down all the parties because of her fear of Mexicans. Yes, exactly. How did you know? You're the 700th report of this today. Oh God. Something about Mexican music just seems to unleash a Karen's underlying racist tendencies. Oh, I don't think that this Karen's racist tendencies are underlying. They're pretty like front and center. Do you know the Karen in question? I'm her landscaper. She called me into work today, but it turns out she just wanted me to talk Mexican to everyone to make them shut up. Okay. I don't even speak Spanish. She just assumes I do because I'm a landscaper. Damn, this Karen's the final boss. Hey Zeus, get over here and talk to them. My name is Matthew. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, yeah, I'm calling to report a Karen. Of course, what's the situation? Well, I'm at CVS and there's a Karen protesting about the vaccine. I see, and what is the Karen saying exactly? Well, right now she's yelling about how the vaccine makes you magnetic, but earlier she was going on about microchipping. Make sure you keep your distance, okay? She sounds pretty erratic. Oh, uh, and now she's talking about how it's her choice whether or not she wants to get the vaccine while simultaneously trying to stop people from getting the vaccine. That's a classic Karen move right there. It feels hypocritical. Oh, Karens don't understand hypocrisy. It's actually one of the things that make them Karens. What else is there? Not understanding hypocrisy, not understanding irony, lacking self-awareness, getting all news from Facebook or Tucker Carlson. Oh God! Sir, calm down. What's happening? Oh, nothing. It's... I just realized my mom's a Karen. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, do you help with Karens internationally? We sure do. How can I be of assistance? Well, I'm currently at the Olympics and there's a Karen here. Let me guess, she's yelling at the skateboarders. How do you know? God, I knew this was gonna happen the moment they announced it was being added. Yeah, she's literally standing in the middle of the half pipe saying they're not allowed to be there. Karens are so predictable. Oh, and now she's calling the cops. Are there any officials nearby to help? The officials are yelling at her now, but in Japanese. So she's just telling them to speak English. But she's in Japan. Hand. Oh, I know. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll send for help right away. Oh, God. What's happening now? She's trying to hire the Mexican team to mow her lawn. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I have a little bit of a problem. Not a problem. What's the issue? So I was sitting at a red light and I got rear-ended by a Karen. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. So anyway, she gets out of the car and starts yelling at me for being, and I quote, parked in the middle of the street. Fantastic, so now I assume the Karen is refusing to give you her insurance information. At first, that's all it was. She said it was my fault and then started live streaming me on Facebook. Karens do love their Facebook. But then it got worse. Seriously? So somebody who saw the accident called the cops and when the cops showed up, they started questioning the Karen. Naturally. So then the Karen called the cops. Wait, what? Yeah, she called the cops on the cops. Oh boy, she sounds like a bad one. Okay, yeah, we'll send backup support right away. I know my rights. My husband is an attorney. Please hurry. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen emergency. Of course, what's the situation? I'm at the grocery store and a Karen is throwing a tantrum because they're out of turkey. Oh God. Hey Sam, we got another one. Is this happening a lot? Oh yeah. The holidays really piss Karens off. Really? November to January is what we in the business call the busy season. Yeah, well, this one's really going off. What's she doing now? She is screaming at one of the cashiers. Naturally. The kid's in, like, high school, too, so I have to imagine he has nothing to do with the lack of turkey. Keep your distance. Karens are irrational and entitled. It's a dangerous combo. Oh, don't worry. I'm hiding by the Captain Crunch. Smart. Karens hate sugary cereal. They seem to hate everything. Pretty much. I mean, the only thing Karens truly love is themselves. Really? Well, that and Facebook. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen in the Montgomery Mall. Of course. Now, what's the Karen's current location? The Hallmark store. All righty. Now, what seems to be the situation? Well, she's screaming at the checkout lady for saying happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. Oh, I see. She's refusing to leave until they say it right. Keep your distance, but explain to me everything the Karen's doing. Well, now she's saying that their policy of saying happy holidays is an attack on Christmas and Christianity as a whole. Oh, boy. The oppression of white Christians 
Ravens is getting ridiculous. Please send help. Stay calm. We have units on their way. Hurry. Somebody just pointed out that there's other holidays around this time of year other than Christmas. Damn it. It's about to get ugly. Oh God. What is it? She just started live streaming on Facebook. Who keeps giving them internet access? Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen. Alrighty, not a problem. Where's the Karen currently located? She's at Target throwing a tantrum over the Valentine's Day decorations. Okay. She's claiming it discriminates against her for being single. Oh, she's one of those. Oh, God. What's she doing? Now she's chanting, Karen hearts matter. This is more serious than I thought. What do I do? There's not much anybody can do until our de-escalation unit gets to your location. De-escalation? They're trained professionals in dealing with Karens in crisis. I didn't know that existed. Some are psychologists, some are doctors, but Many of them are former Karens themselves. What are they going to do? Whatever it takes. You don't mean they... I mean, they don't... They don't... They don't kill Karens, do they? <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless they need to. Hello, Karen Helpline. Hi, I need to report a Karen disturbing the peace. Alrighty, and what's the Karen's current location? She's at the annual community Easter egg hunt. And what's she doing? She's trying to get a toddler arrested for trespassing. Excuse me? He thought he saw an egg in her yard. Okay, that's not good. Hurry, it's escalating fast. What's she doing now? She keeps pointing to the no trespassing sign and demanding he read it aloud. Didn't you just say he was a toddler? Yeah, he's like three. There's no way he can read. Don't get involved. We have a team on their way. What will they do? We're handing out Karen Easter baskets to help keep the peace. Karen Easter baskets? Red wine, coupons to supercuts, things that say live, laugh, love, really anything to shut her up.